Good evening. Uh, my name is Violetta. We are connecting with you from Canada. It's our 37 video and it's the 10th day of January 2018. My son Leszek will be asking me questions and I will be having visions and answering them as the pictures of little videos. Okay, so uh, let's start with this. Putting aside whether Donald Trump is a moral and ethical man, the fact remains Trump has amassed a great deal of wealth and su success in his life. Yep. My question is, how does Donald Trump attract more wealth and success than the majority of people? He's flying high. He is able to go in different zone. He, he is living in his own imaginary world. Jeez. It's like moving above everyone. It's his, the, you know what? He attracts this. It's like vent moving, uh, moving the air, and he is creating his own imaginary world. You know what? You know why I was in such a bad mood? Oh, he, were, he was today. Because I was uh, the questions that I came up with. They all pertain to like this subject. But if you didn't answer that first question right, I'd have nothing to work with. Oh, okay. And it's stress not only on me, now it's on him too. Uh, it's his own flying zone. He creates his own reality. <laughs> oh my, okay. Okay, check so this he's out. he's now happy. <laughs> so this is the, the first thing. Consciousness is defined as a state of being awake and aware of one's surroundings. But we all live in a mental and physical plane simultaneously my question is does donald trump does donald trump focus a greater degree of his consciousness to the physical world or the mental world he's escaping from reality his own way i think he it comes to me, my girlfriend just sent me a quote about Einstein yesterday, and Agnieszka, and she said, logically you can move from point one to point B. That was Einstein who said this. Logic can take you from point one to point B. Imagination can take you everywhere. I think he has huge imagination and he's forcing everyone to believe what he is saying. So he's creating his own imaginary world. Why are you smiling? Well, no, because I'm, I'm going to get to all that. <laughs> well, he was, uh, he came in a crappy mood and I moved stuff around, so he had to put the back. Okay. Does Donald Trump, does Donald Trump focus a greater degree of his consciousness to the mental world than the majority of people? He thinks he's above everything, ab above everyone. I see him as a little boy in front of the principal and the parents are standing there with him and he has a huge suitcase. I think he started this journey as a young boy and he created his own reality to, to let him get away from troubles. Whenever he will be in trouble, he create his own reality. I think it's fair to say the physical world is a place where everything can be quantified and has a shelf life. And the mental world is abundant and infinite. 
Does the physical world draw some form of energy from the mental world? Absolutely. That's what I'm telling people. Yeah. You have to use your imagination, use your subconscious mind, because I see the face with closed eyes. So you have to create your own imaginary world too. He's creating, but we are, we have to do it. And I'm, I, in my cards, there is a magician. In every card, tarot card, there is a magician. And I'm teaching everyone who is doing reading with me, always think the positive way to communicate with magician. Whatever you want, he will give it to you, but you have to focus the positive way. Magician don't understand the word no. So, he will give you everything. Even today I had a really nice talk with young men from England. Yeah, he will give you as long as you ask for this positive way. You can't say, I don't want something, because that's when will happen. What will happen to you? You have to say, I want this. I want safe journey. I want to be rich. So whatever you're focusing on, if it's Whatever negative, you'd say to what your mind. Get. Okay. And I was programming it's like the, the secret, my the book. The book, yeah. yeah. Um, is the sensation of emotional pain a result of a person's body being depleted of this energy by the physical world because the per the person has lost focus of the mental world? Yes, and there are sometimes it looks like. <laughs> The garbage is flying on you. You are in the room and there is so much gar... The ceiling is open and there is garbage coming on you. Sometimes people are under so much stress that they are not able to function. And they then... To dream? They, yeah, it's like they are... That's what I have seen. Garbage coming from the ceiling on someone. So they have so much stress, so much garbage coming to them, and they don't feel clean. They can't really clean themselves to be in a positive. To get out of the garbage and focus yeah, and on focus stuff. on something good because it's too much nastiness and and so many people are affected by the negativity of the world and then they are focusing on the negative stuff instead on the positive. Can a person who doesn't focus their consciousness on the mental world draw an energy from someone who does, in essence, become an energy vampire? But about positive world? Well, say for you, you ex for example, you, you do what Donald Trump does, you you daydream about your perfect world, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't. I'm piled by garbage. <laughs> right? Can I that. can I steal energy from you? Because I have none. I think I can give it to you, but you can't steal it. You can't really steal it. You can give me the negative energy and if I will be focusing on that garbage coming on me, I can lose my own energy. But to get the positive energy, you have to be given to you. Louise Hay was the perfect person who was giving people hope and good energy, motivating them. Who's that? Louise Hay. That oh, was I thought you said... Louis C.K. No, <laughs> I don't know who that is. No. <laughs> Louise Hay. She died in age 92 and uh, she survived cancer and she was such a wonderful mentor to people to bring the good energy to themselves and build up that bubble of protection and being rich to that motivation that they can survive cancer, they can survive everything. And if someone is doing good, bad thing to us, we have to push that away and focus on that we love them. The term affirmation is defined as an act or an instance of affirming something exists or is true. 
Now, I don't know what Trump's like in his private life, but when he's on camera or on Twitter, he seems to employ an exuberant amount of affirmations pertaining to his own greatness and wealth. My question is, does Donald Trump use affirmations as a tool to focus his consciousness towards the mental world and to disengage from the physical world? I understand things. I comprehend very well, okay? Better than, I think, almost anybody. I'm a very smart person. You know, I went to the best school. I went to an Ivy League school. I'm very highly educated. I know words. I have the best words. Putin did call me a genius. People would say I'm the super genius of all time. The super genius of all time. I'm really smart. I'm smart. I'm like a smart person. I'm like a really smart person. You know, I'm like a smart person. I'm a big thinker. I'm a man of great common sense. I'm one of the smartest people anywhere in the world. <laughs> Again, that little boy in the school, he's in trouble and he is forcing his own truth to, to the principal so he can get away with the trouble that he is in. He's repeating and repeating and repeating and his parents are standing by him. He learned to, to lie very early age to, f to make his own reality. Jeez, you're getting to all the questions before I'm even <laughs> I asking. didn't read the them, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what has a greater impact on a, on a person's state of mind? Or what has a greater impact on a person's state of well-being, the physical world or the mental world? Somehow both. Because if you are in pain, you can't really concentrate on the men mental work. But I think you can really focus on the mental work more than physical. Tomorrow I'm going to a dentist and I can't take any injections because I'm allergic to them. So for the last few days, I'm focusing that I wouldn't feel a pain. Because if he will inject me with the painkiller, I will end up with the mask. So you have to be able to concentrate on the positive, just expect that you will be able to, to even fight the, the, the pain. And you've had that before where you were able to rise above the pain? Many times, because uh, if he will gave me a painkiller, the, the pain will probably make me collapse. So uh, somehow with me, I, I work, my body works completely opposite to the painkillers. And uh, instead of putting me down, I will have worse effect. When I had a C-section when you were born, they put me in coma. So I have to avoid any painkillers and I have to prepare myself always for, for the fighting the pain with my own mind. So people can do that. It's just practice, practice, practice. And I don't know how good I will be tomorrow, but today I'm just <laughs> practicing for this. Does Donald Trump's mental world attract wealth, fame and success into his physical world? Yes, yes, because he can, he's a salesman and he's convincing people that he is so rich, so good, so best looking, so blah, 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 everything like he's telling himself even today, <laughs> that was the best speech, that was the, 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 the biggest crowd. Yeah, he doesn't focus on ethics, he doesn't focus no, on plans. He and he knows he is lying, but he can't stop lying to himself. Yeah. He is just thinking that if he is believing in that, and I think it started with that little boy who was in trouble at schools, and his parents sent him to boarding school. So he learned over there to, very early to be a bully. So, like, in a way, Trump is... Creating his own. Uh, He's an example that you can you can tell yourself that you can believe anything. 
Yeah. You tell yourself. And good that he is not some serial killer because he would believe himself that he has to kill people. Some people are doing that. But he be, he believes in his own things. And I think that's the reason he's calling others names because he doesn't want the, those names to be stuck to him. When he feels that he is that name, he projects he, it. He projects on another person and stopping them, I can't call him the same name. And it's his way of bullying everyone around him and creating his own bubbles of lies and his own innocent. world. Yeah. Yeah. And he believes that he's innocent. He has no collusion, no collusion, no collusion. And Okay. What does Donald Trump's mental world look like? I don't know how to answer something like that. Mm. I bet it. Okay, yeah. It's huge, made of gold. <laughs> Mental word. He has two lines with the money. So he is focusing always on many, making money. So that's his goal on everything. He has to create wealth for himself. So that that's his imaginary world. Is creating wealth. Creating wealth and the the money was not this way stacked. They were put one on to, on another like gold coins, and it's his path like yellow brick road in the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. It's the same thing. He is going that path in his imaginary way, and he knows who to attract, and he can be enemy one day, and he can be best friend another day, or best friend, and then pff, enemy split seconds. He is going his crooked old imaginary world away. Does Donald Trump, does Donald Trump meditate? Does he transcendentally put himself into his mental world and interact with within the with the environment in it if so he is only thinking how to make everyone on his side he is only focusing on how to buy people how to make them to do what he wants them to do so planning is a form of meditation for him yeah, but it's not a meditation. It's just planning and focusing what he wants. It's well, imagination as... Imagination is as meditation, a, right? Uh, yeah, that's what Einstein said. It can take you from everywhere. Mm. Logic, it can take you only from one point one to B, but... I was going to ask him who taught him how to do it, but you've kind of answered that. No, I think he taught himself because yeah. he was in school for... When he would tell the truth, he was in trouble. When he was lying, he was getting away. And as long as he convinces he could, himself, he just that repeats... That he is not guilty, I'm not guilty, I'm not guilty. I'm, he is the one who is guilty and he's always blaming someone else. Yeah. And that's what he's doing to this day. He always will find... A reason to turn your attention from himself to, to look at her, look at Clinton, what she did, blah, blah, blah. It's the moment that he is afraid that he will be in trouble. It's the little boy in him that wants the attention and his parents were not giving him enough attention. So he learned to survive. It's not easy to be in boarding school as a young boy. And he learned to survive, and he learned to be a bully, and he learned to, to accuse his friends of doing something what he did. As long as he will convince everyone that he is not the guilty one, someone else is guilty, and they were not that brave to lie, he was getting out of the trouble. And that's what he's doing to this day. He never blames himself. He can't. We get it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what effect would guided meditation have on the world if it were to be a mandatory part of the curriculum taught in all schools? Oh, we will be blooming like the 
lotus. Everyone will be so open to the sun and full of energy and so on. Oprah, I heard that she is doing that at her business. Before work, they, I think that was a long time ago that I heard. They have a meditation yeah. hour. And somehow he is, she is able to bring so much wealth to herself, but completely different way than Trump. She yeah. is able to bring the, the goodness from the world to herself and everyone feel respectful to her. Can illness, can illness be cured by properly focus, focusing one's consciousness towards the mental world? I don't understand this. If you have an illness and you focus on the mental world instead of the physical world, properly like you envision that's what i'm saying that yeah. louise hay was teaching you she know. could she was overcome teaching. illness yeah. she was teaching how to overcome how to concentrate that you will be even killing your germs or cancer or whatever with your mind one more question why can't people remember what happens when they sleep in other words why do we become un unconscious we we remember sometimes when we sleep. Yeah, but Some, more often than not, we don't. Why don't we? Because part of our brain wants to just experience things, but the logical brain is not in contact with the subconscious brain. And we are producing everything in the subconscious brain. So the correction from the conscious brain is kind of not intertwined as much. We do remember horror dreams and some dreams will repeat themselves over and over. So it, 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 sometimes it's connected, but sometimes we just want to relax and let it go. But I think that the subconscious brain is always producing something. And we need sleep, hey? Like, is... We can't live without that. Is it all connected to this type of energy that comes through this mental plane into our physical bodies while we sleep? You know what I mean? Yeah, we need that. It's like a rain of refreshing water so we need to 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 wash our worries when we are sleeping some people don't need as much sleep as others i need nine hours but trump can only sleep so you're talking about worries i'm talking about energy well it's the same thing some people can't live without sleep <laughs> no one can live, live without sleep no but you know some people can sleep a little bit for for whole lives and some needs more and we are definitely wired we have to have amount of sleep is that true do do some people need more sleep than others it's some different energies people has some will have more vibrations and they don't need to sleep as much because they are contacting to that vibration and Someone like me, I need nine hours of sleep. Otherwise, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will be crumb, <laughs> sleepy all day, and I need to have a, a, a sleep. And I can go to bed and poof, right away I'm sleeping. My husband is watching the movie till two o'clock in the night. He doesn't need that much sleep. Okay. That's all I got. Okay, thank you so much for watching us. Please subscribe. And that was different video, completely different subjects, yeah. but I enjoy it. I did. So hopefully that the viewers will enjoy it too. If you would like to request a private Skype reading with Violetta, please email her at psychicvioletta at hotmail.com and discover what the future holds for you.